Here they come. This is going to be an all out war. These two won't even wait for the opening bell. The official desperately trying to, trying to separate these two, but I'm not sure that's going to be possible. Well, tensions have already boiled over. We haven't even had the bell yet. Trying to catch the superstar off guard, but they were prepared. Well, it's blatantly obvious there is a ton of animosity between these two superstars. And yeah, not wasting any time getting this fight started. Emotions running high in this highly anticipated match, but this is officially underway. These superstars were certainly in a hurry to get this started. That was a brilliant strategy, guys. Throw your opponents off by taking the fight to them. You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. Basement drop kick. Things are getting risky. This will not end well. Back suplex on the apron. You don't aim for the apron unless you're looking to do some serious damage. Catches the leg. Clothesline takes him down. Forget about it. When facing Shinsuke Nakamura, one thing you'll most certainly have to deal with is his continued frenzy of strikes. What's the best way to contend with that? There's only one option, Cole, and that's keep up. Shinsuke's never going to back off or give you time to strategize, so you have to come at him with just as much fury and match his intensity. Hook up and boom! Back drop, suplex! What a high angle right across the shoulders. Carefully plays stomp to the arm. He's lost some of his win now. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. about devastation. He's back into the ring. Cinching in a waist lock, but right hands. Manages to fight out with a serious... And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. A hard bar broken. Get back here. Leg lariat. But just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Oof. He thinks he has it. A kick out to stay alive. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Enough already. And that negates Zane's offense. Left by the turnbuckles. Quick thinking pays off. A oh, running knee lift. This could do it. And he gets his shoulder up before the count. He's not even close to being done yet. That was a good shot, and it looks like Nakamura might be bleeding. Face first. Oh! Look at all these boots to the face. Here comes a big one. Uh oh! Oh, the reversal by Shinsuke Nakamura. Can he do it here? He gets the shoulder up at two. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Right on point. Uh-oh. Gets him with the counter. Great trouble here. Can he get him fully locked? Cross side bar is in. No, change of plans. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. And Sammy is countered. Fighting back by the counter. He must have had that scouting. Ooh, stinging kick. Getting him into the corner. Oh, to the midsection. Bad vibrations from Shinsuke Nakamura. Shoulders down. Powers through after two. And frustration might be starting to set in. Strikes with a kick. Measured stomp right to the gut. He skirts away, living to fight another day. 
And he's taking this to the outside now. Ooh, tossed with the suplex. Boom! Oh. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Taking this one back to the ring now. Right by the clothesline, out of nowhere. and attacking the lower back. Great wherewithal on the counter. Placing them into the corner. Oh, what a kick. Vicious. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Looking vulnerable on that top turnbuckle. Hits back against Nakamura. Saw it coming and slow. Sammy Zane, take down. The coaching club, no! What a reversal! Incredible. Climbing up to the top now. Oh boy, he's stalking him. Watching for it up on the top. Double X handle cuts. I don't know how these men keep going. They gotta be close to running on empty by now. to be mindful of the referee's count here. Shinsuke Nakamura with a crashing down landslide. Shinsuke showing once again that wherever he goes, carnage is... Here we go! Nakamura setting up Kinshasa! Celebration imminent for Nakamura. Oh, uh, there's the old... Stump puller light snap, very effective. There are plenty of ways battling this area could end in serious harm. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. He's heading up top, thinking big. Oh, man. Sammy can't find a foothold in this match. I don't think anyone can stop Nakamura now. Oh, timely counter by Zayn. Here comes Sammy. The pillars of this building must be crumbling from the energy these fans are putting out right now. These superstars are giving it to the and this audience is giving it right back. Focus mind of Sami Zayn capitalizing big time with that move. Nakamura was ready for it. Look at this. Snap suplex. He moved, but can he capitalize? The energy in here is palpable. Something truly special is unfolding before our eyes. The ref still counting might be a count out. Nakamura not shaken one bit by the presence of his opponent. The 
that's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. And so it's clever tricks and unorthodox tactics that win the day this time. They really had the rug pulled out from under them. No way to prepare for that earlier onslaught. Every match comes with its fair share of surprises. It just comes down to how well you can roll with those punches. All right, now here's a man we can trust as a referee. I think he'll do us all proud. The following contest is a special referee match. Please welcome the special referee for this match, The Miz! You know, guys, I always thought I would make a great referee. Way better than this clown. Maybe it's time for a career change. <laughs> you? Wearing zebra stripes? Enforcing the rules? Yeah, right. Yeah, forgive me, Corey, but I'm not sure you'd pass even your first refereeing exam. There's exams? Plural? Never mind. I'm out. History. Tick tock. Doomsday has arrived. Just a prelude to the unrelenting attack we are about to see 
from Karrion Cross. The real Apollo Crews is here. And his opponent from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Crews! Made a return to NXT, joined the main event scene there, and is doing the best work of his career. Always had the athleticism, but now he has a drive like never before. I think we're gonna see Cruz hit even greater heights than before. We know he has the power, the speed, the skills, now Apollo needs to tie it all together to reach that next level. And listen, the referee is going to be a bigger factor tonight than any other typical contest. We've seen time and time again when there's bad blood between a superstar and the official, things don't tend to end well. I really just hope this bad blood doesn't get in the way of a good match. Maybe they can save their issues for after the show. Slice bread. Oh, countered into a power slam. Can he score the pin? Oh, uh, maybe. Just kicks out. Important kick out there. Got to commend our official. Saw the shoulders down and responded accordingly. Big time. Will this be enough? Gets the shoulder up. And give it to the referee. That was a standard pin count for sure. You can tell the ref has set his feelings aside with a count like that. Oh, it is aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? And he's out of there in a nick of time. out the window and it paid off adrenaline is through the roof now crash landing power bomb i felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here the raw strength of carrying cross is truly impressive how do you deal with that as his opponent when you're taking on a powerhouse like cross you need to be patient if you charge him head on he'll just rip you apart so bide your time and wait for him to make a mistake then once you have your opening you go in for that big attack Apollo's composure being shaken with that attack. A very aggressive cross on the attack. Cross the shoulders up and gut check. He can end it here. Strong kick out there. Our guest referee with a textbook count. A licensed official's count has to keep a steady pace, and that's what he did. longer than it has to. Powerbomb! Ah, uh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Oof, and all the impact brought to the knee. There was some power behind that punch.
expertly applied leg lock. And here's a cover. cover. He narrowly avoids the count. And that is how the count should be. This ref is taking the job seriously. No one is gonna say boo about the official's count. Perched up top. Wow, straight to the floor. Was trying to make a big splash with that, but there was no water in the pool. Picture perfect takedown. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. This rivalry has really started to heat up over the past few weeks. There's always something simmering under the surface here, Cole, and they're living proof of it right now. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Big time powerbomb. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a powerbomb with that much force. Sit straight to the barricade. Boom! What are you waiting for? Get back in there. You tell him, Saxton. He'll take things into the ring. Nine. Oh, man, by the skin of his teeth. Jeez, what a way to make us sweat. Off into the pin. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. And our referee watched that one closely. And keeping attention to the official, I saw no fault with his count at all there. And as this match continues, I have to give it up for our referee. We've seen professional, unbiased officiating. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Into a powerball. Cover. Two. No, stops the count at two. Looks like our guest official is pretty good at this ref thing. Our special referee doing the zebra. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hole. Imp Stalling. Looks like our guest official is sleeping on the job. Great reversal. Apollo Cruz has him up. Oh, wow. Will that stop Cross? Two. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner. Crosses my games just weren't as effective as he had hoped.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On their way to the ring, accompanied by Jinder Mahal, at a combined weight of 572 pounds, Veer Mahal and Sangha Indes. This is a top-level team, guys. Each of these superstars could be a main eventer by themselves, but together, they're even better. Things are about to get just too sweet. The OC is here and ready to have each other's backs. And the opponents, accompanied by me, Chad. And a combined weight of 505 pounds. The World Tag Team Champions, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the OC. The most dominant club in the world, marching towards the pinnacle of their collective careers. The OC commands respect wherever they go, and their opponents had better be ready to show it. Certainly earn the respect, and they'll take it from anyone who won't give it willingly. That's the bell, and the OC is here, set for action. There are really no egos in the OC, guys. They love to fight and then have a good time outside the ring. That's what happens when you spend as much time making money and making towns as these dudes have, Cole. All that matters after that is the company you keep, and the OC knows that all too well. A very tight-knit crew, you have to admire that. Yeah, but they've got into share casting a long shadow on them from across the ring. Absolute behemoths looking to lay waste to anyone who stands in their way. Yeah, they made it clear they want nothing but the top prizes in the tag team division. There he goes, right into the corner. He catches Sango with a counter. Stop fight again. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Tossing them aside. He's tagging out. Kicks to rip. His shoulders are down. And still hanging on. He's determined to keep this matchup going. with a clothesline. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. Gallo's aggression seemed to be quelled by that attack. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. Ooh. With the reversal. corner now and full control here face first in the turnbuckle i don't know if gallows can withstand much more of this this is what it feels like to run into a competitor like Muhammad. look retaliates Pop handle slam. get 
breaks the tag. the tag. Man, what an uppercut. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Face first. Torturous focus on the leg. Ooh. We know that taking out the legs is one of the most effective strategies in any match. right in the head. Luke Gallows in with the tag. Oh, man, he is fired up now. Ah, oh, gets cracked by the overhand. A time shoulder block with a corkscrew. No, oh, flesh on flesh. Nothing pretty about it. In off the tag. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Waist lock, no, no! Belly to belly! My goodness! And he goes for the pin. Gets the shoulder up in one. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. Talk about dismantling your opponent. And he's able to reverse. And he rolls out to create some separation. He should have created separation by never coming out here. A oh, pump handle into a power slam. And Luke gets that turn back on him. Ready for that. Shoulder tackle. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Oh. Raped across the top rope. His toughness was called into question by that offense. He eludes the contact. Scoop slam! He skirts away, living to fight another day. Thrown back in under the ropes. Tags him in. Set up in the corner of the ring. 
Oh, this here is vintage. Snake eyes. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Anderson picks him up. Anderson could seal things up. Shoulders down. Amazing. I truly thought it was all over there. Talk about resilience. Yeah, but did you see how the referee had to get into position? That was all the difference. That was plan A, and it didn't work. He must be thinking about plan B at this point. Reversal. What a counter. Not the position you want to be in right now. Check your face out. Let's go. Picked up and around. Oh, it hurt. Fez Press and the Piston Light right hands. Fez Press raining down right hands. He got whipped into that corner. Boom. And Gallows reverses. Another big move. With a good no way here recovers from that. He stays alive. He stays alive. His opponent thought he had it in the bag for sure. This, this is it. The cover. It's off the pin at two. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Neither one of these men are showing any signs of staying down. Yeah, but it can't last much longer at this pace. In the corner. Big knee to the midsection. His tag team is just tremendous working together. Double teams. And it's about to get worse. Oh, draping double axe handle. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say so. For the victory here. Oh, and a kick out. He kicked out. He actually kicked out. Vicious right forearm. Vicious down like savage club right there. What a counter. Beautiful suplex. Getting set up for something in the corner. Hoisting their opponent up. Look out. Snake eyes. position to be in right now. Straight impact on the throat. <laughs> Draped across the top rope. Clubbing four. Short clothesline. Jeez, and Sangha was opened up there. Really just laying it in. He's in a little bit of trouble now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Surprise with the DDT. He went right into that turnbuckle. Oh, draping double axe handle. Able to parry that one. He turns it around. for Gallows. Trapped in the corner. No escape from these punches. Boot to the stomach.
win to share stands tall and stands victorious. A dominant statement made here by Indashir. You do not want to mess with them. It's time to stand up and show some respect to the future of WWE, Seth Rollins. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. Introducing first, representing the authority from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins. Cocky, crafty, conniving. Seth Rollins is one heck of an athlete, but his ego and attitude have obviously eclipsed his otherwise impressive talent. Okay, Cole. Crafty? Yeah, you yourself dubbed him the architect, Cole. Conniving? He simply has vision. Cocky? Why wouldn't he be? He's the future of this company, like it or not. Sometimes it can be hard to tell just how good Seth Rollins really is. But he really is capable in the ring. We've seen that before and will no doubt see that tonight. Well, I'd say he's more than capable. Rollins believes he's on a whole other level. And it's hard to argue against that. The King of Kings has arrived. One of the most prolific champions and decorated competitors in WWE history. And who is now perhaps the most powerful man in the entire company. And representing the authority from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 200. And 55 pounds, the game, Triple H. Throughout his career, he has transformed himself into a household name. That's after results of a career spanning decades of main events and championship reigns. Triple H has inspired so many modern superstars. And he can still go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Triple H is a true force to be reckoned with inside the ring. 
His physicality might even be underrated at this point. And we all know about the mental edge held by the cerebral assassin. Well, in every way possible, Triple H is built to compete at the highest level. Oh, Michael Corey, can you feel it? My veins are pulsating with positivity. Let's go. New Day rocks. Michael, New Day rocks. Corey? Shut up, Saxton. And, and a combined weight of 417 pounds. Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, the New Day. You know, the only thing worse than this pancake and unicorn parade is that I know for a fact these guys are going to launch their clothes at me. <laughs> Don't be a negative Nancy, Corey. That's just part of the fun. It's not fun, and they need to fire whoever's doing their laundry. Oh, look out, Corey, look out! Hey, Michael, would you please shoot? <laughs> you know, I've had a lot of embarrassing things happen to me in my career. That may have been the most embarrassing thing ever, hey, Saxton. And a combined weight of 532 pounds. Chad Gable and Otis, the Alpha Academy. You know, Alpha Academy may look like a bunch of oddballs, but they're legit. I wouldn't be surprised if they're really an accredited academy. They're highly trained, highly intelligent, and highly competitive. They certainly think so. I bet Alpha Academy is thinking that by the end of the night, we'll all be saying thank you. No, no, Saxton, like this. Uh, thank you. Oh, 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 good tip. Thank, Byron. Thank you, you, thank you. You just flunked out of the academy. Tornado tag with multiple teams facing off. Things are going to get frantic fast. Whatever team comes out of this with their hand raised is going to make a strong case for being the best in WWE. Looking wildly in the corner. Nice amateur takedown. Oh, big reversal by Rollins. Oh, a European uppercut. Oh, had it scouted and met with a back elbow. Oh, Float over Russian leg sweep. Then it's Seth Rollins. Cover. Sleeper holds cinched in. And out of the sleeper. Corey, what are the perils of this match that superstars must be concerned with? Well, this is the type of setting where you must be aware of outside interference because when it's no disqualification, it's not considered interference. It's legal. The match can change in an instant when another individual who is not officially part of the match makes their presence felt. That's when a competitor needs to utilize the anything goes to the edge that is better than the in this match. Disrupt that attack. I don't know if they're going to have any taste buds left after that. Oh, he retaliates. Oh, what a close lock. And it's going to be hard for Woods to send a message if he gets outmatched like that. Tough position to be caught in here. Smarter, not harder. That's what I say. Able to reverse that one. Up they go. That'll jam 
Bring your tailbone. Gable on the receiving end. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Denied via a wicked punch to the stomach. this thing off by any means necessary. And here comes Old Faithful. Look out! Butterfly suplex! Battling ringside, now announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fuck comes out here, guys. You solidify your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Delivered back into the ring. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. He's able to fend off the attack. Charbel rolls to the body, looking to fight his way out. Spinning, spinning, spinning! Really made sure their opponent lost all sense of their surroundings. Otis's mind didn't look to be in the game there. Yeah, Triple H delivery with some excellent tech. Jack Gable goes behind, holds up his opponent. Nice German suplex. Holding on for another. And why not? Up high. Nobody home on that. Got it sixth in. Aiding fast. Oh, no, it's a leg sweep. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Kobe kicks it. Kobe got it. Kobe got it. He's done the count for his partner. Meanwhile, Gable. Big four off. He's been placed in the corner now. And Triple H had that scouted. Blackjack! Does he get him here? An exhausting match, but a victory he'll savor forever. Here are your winners. Seth Rollins in Triple H. Making their case for one of the best teams around with that win. Have all the fun you want, but at the end of the day, this is what it's all about. Winning and making money. In that order. Those two titles adding a little swagger to his walk. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 
220 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, and the NXT Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Right now. He has never been more confident nor more proud. This is an accomplishment on a different level. Well, just think of the road he traveled and what he endured to be here tonight holding two championships. Well, it has to be recognized that right now we are witnessing dominance on another level. Here is the originator of British Strong Style. And his opponent from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates! Well, how about this? The first and last NXT UK champ in the building. Well, Tyler Bate is always down for a fight and always ready to get it on. Master Bait has remarkable poise to go with the flow. Bates the first NXT UK Triple Crown Champion, NXT UK Champ, Tag Champ, and NXT Heritage Cup Champion. Big, strong boy vibes all day. No weak link in his game. A true example of British strong style. Cody Rhodes calls himself the American Nightmare, a name that's a nod to his legendary father, but one that also acknowledges that Cody has become his own man. He's more than just a legacy talent. Yeah, Cody took hold of his own career. Picking the leg. Oh, we got to see it. Dirt. Trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. Wow, springboard attack in the cover. No, a kick out. Staying in this one. Oh, tossed aside. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Cody Rhodes is extremely passionate, but that could be a hindrance in certain situations, right, Corey? Not passion so much as emotion. Cody's no hothead, but he can get lost in the moment, and that's when you have to strike. The moment will be fleeting, but it does happen from time to time. <clears throat> oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Maneuver there. He forces a break before the count of two. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Oh. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Saved by a well placed knee strike. <laughs> oh, what a boot. Held in a perilous position. Just launched. He is just reeling from that offense. Yeah, Cole, but at this point, from the top. Oh, 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 drop. Oh, a piercing elbow. Into the pit attempt. Two count. And now will about do it, folks.
Here is your winner, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. A tough loss handed to Tyler Bate. Tyler Bate tried everything he could, but he just came up short. Hopefully he uses this as a moment of reflection to see what worked and what didn't, because clearly something didn't. This is one intimidating superstar. I agree with you, Saxton. I pity those who pick a fight with Braun Breaker. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia. Weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun. Absolute power, absolute aggression. This kid's the real deal. I agree, Cole. He's already more than living up to his family pedigree. Hey, yo, now we're talking. Just look at Breaker's face. The intensity of this man is palpable. Braun looks ready to completely annihilate the opposition. Jey Uso is here and he is a new man. And his opponent from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, main event, Jay Uso. The one thing that hasn't changed about Jay Uso is his unrelenting desire to be at the top of WWE. Yeah, and at this point, I don't think anything can hold him back. Jey Uso has truly reached main event status. Facing an opponent seemingly invulnerable to intimidation in Braun Breaker. Yeah, this man has got to keep from being intimidated by Breaker.
One thing you have to admire about Jey Uso is his passion. When he sets his mind to something, he goes all out to achieve it, even if it means conflict with his closest allies, even his family. Jay is determined to be his own man, and I think that's a very admirable trait. He stood up for himself when others would have bent the knee and just played follow the leader. Even when the choice to do so has landed him in serious trouble, no question, Jay is committed to doing what he believes is best for himself. And then we have a man who's a certified threat to any superstar, Braun Breaker. Braun has that special competitive fire inside of him, that drive to do whatever it takes to capture the win. I agree. It's hard to imagine putting limits on Braun Breaker. He has that true spirit of a competitor and a willingness just to grind it out against even the toughest opposition, slowly breaking them down piece by piece. Planning on what to do next. Driven down face first. He heads outside, countouts legal in this match. Uh-oh, he had it scouted. A powerful suplex toss. Whoa, there's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Oh, impressive counter. We're seeing a new element of brutality to Jey Uso's in-ring approach. Do you think that works in his favor tonight? Absolutely it does. Jey Uso's more dangerous than ever. I don't think any opponent can be fully prepared for Jey's streak of relentless intensity. The more he lets that come out to play, the bigger his advantage will be tonight. Hurled away. God. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Stiff elbow will break that up. Breaker is putting his opponent on notice. Taking it outside the ring now. Look at him. Pride and put. Oh, he grew tired of his smug attitude. Dominating shoulder tackle. Jarring impact. And he had bronze number there. Looking for a belly to back suplex. Back suplex into the neck breaker. There's that mean streak of Jays coming into play. Uso. Rough landing. He was waiting for him to make his move. Vicious right forearm. Incoming. And this has got to be it. He gets the kick out after the one. This is where great cardio makes all the difference, helping you stay alive deep into the match. The knee. Staved off that attack. Dominating shoulder tackle. Wicked clothesline. Punch. Breaker showing just how intense he can be. Never letting up, never letting down. Supercut! Trapped in the corner. Oh, Non-stop blows. Oof! Kick right to the gut. And did you hear the impact of that? It has been a constant barrage from each of these competitors. Almost a half. From the top. Diving headbutt. He's starting to struggle here. Jey Uso is willing to pull out all the stops here, whatever it takes. Super kick. Just breaking down the opponent. And Braun's having trouble managing this onslaught. Top rope. Uso, what the Uso splash. Braun with a cause for concern. Simply abnormal resilience from Breaker. Main event, Jey Uso with a close call right there. He definitely thought he had that one in the back. Braun Breaker, his strength on display. This is absolutely incredible. Boom, military press power slam. Does that pull it out for Breaker? 
What a crucial kick out, and the blood is still pumping for Jey Uso. And Breaker. Braun Breaker, incredibly important moment right there, being able to get to the ropes. It can't be understated how much that could have just saved this match. It's absolute pandemonium in here. And it's all because of the willpower these superstars are showing. The close of this match is just ahead. At this point, it might be too much for him to recover from, Cole. Whatever's playing here can't be good. standing victorious in the ring. A very intimidating showing from Braun Breaker. Looking very dominant in this one. The WWE's Apex Predator is on the hunt. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 275 pounds. The world. Think of all the legendary factions that Randy Orton has been a part of. All steps in his career greatness. Now he learned from the best, but at a very early age, Randy proved he can go it alone. Yeah, we learned very quickly that Randy Orton was the student who was able to surpass the Masters. And in the process, Randy Orton has become a master in his own right. Orton looks like he's ready to stalk his prey. Mello don't miss, and Mello is and his him. from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. Look, I have to admit, I hold Mello in very high regard. His impressive ascension has been nothing short of meteoric. Multiple title wins, main event matches. This young man has quickly done it all. With no signs of slowing down anytime soon, Hayes has ambition, talent, and motivation to spare.
Oh, getting set to take on the Apex Predator, the Viper. One of the greatest of all time. This is going to be a rough night for him. Kicking things off is Carmelo Hayes, a proverbial five-tool player, to use a sports analogy. For those of you who don't know what that means, it means Hayes is a true, complete athlete competing at the highest levels of the game. Or as he likes to say, Melo won't miss. Expectations are high for this young man. We'll see how he meets them. Yeah, but they don't call Randy Orton the apex predator for nothing. Anyone across the ring from the Viper is in for the fight of their life. You're not kidding, Corey. It's a battle to simply survive against Orton, let alone win. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. A ferocious Randy coming out here. Now ah, trampling the opposition. Ah, and a stop. Oh! Oh, not what Hayes intended. Hayes steals clear of that. Ouch! A lot of ways Carmelo Hayes could seal this one up tonight. What's his surest path to victory? I don't think there's just one. Melo's talent comes from his confidence and vice versa. Hayes needs to trust his natural ability because it's an everlasting resource. Boom, what impact! Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Vicious right forearm. And Orton doesn't look as venomous after that move. Close line. Oh. Good golly, Miss Molly. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the reversal by Orton. And he goes for the pin. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, that might have just broken something. He's got the answer for that one. And a series of vicious stomps. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. This could do it. long at all. I suppose you have to take the shot, but it's still too early to wrap up this one just yet. Tossed into the corner. Close line in the corner. <laughs> on the Falcon Arrow. <laughs> Fought off with an elbow. Enabled the counter. He steers clear of contact. Great strength being shown here. Right across the larynx. Drop kick. Beautiful. Mellow scales all the way from the top. Good lord. Taking flight. The one-two punch of high risk, high reward. That's going to hurt. This match is spilled out to the ringside area, and as we can see, tension's really running high now. Oh, uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Saw the opening and turned it into a jawbreaker, and he tosses it back in now. First, a knife edge chop, and now continuing the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. Oh, Carmelo won't come back from that. Cover. And a kick out. No one saw that coming. I would have bet this was one after that last hit. Goes to show you just never know what your opponent's capable of. 
can't take much more of this. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Carmelo Hayes gonna turn it suplex into a car. Melo got it. Can he end it? Is it enough? The cover! There's two! He kicked out at two. Orton escaping by the skin of his teeth with that one. He has to think that was too close for comfort. And it may just take going to the well one more time with that maneuver to gain the pinfall. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Oh, he's got him by the leg! DDT on the foot! Taking off from the ropes! Looking for the victory! There's two! Kicks out, he still has life! A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Dodge it! Orton dropping his opponent with clothesline, ducks out of the way, snap power slam by the Viper. We have seen these men unleash a lot of devastating offense. Incredible that this match hasn't ended yet. It might just be a matter of time. This one is close to coming to a head. That's gotta be it. Two count, digging deep for a kick out. Almost inhuman at this point. And Carmelo gets stifled. Whoa! Picture perfect from Orton. Carmelo Hayes was not expecting a loss tonight. Carmelo Hayes just couldn't fight his way back into this one. We know shooters shoot and Melo's got game, but this is not how he planned this to go down. Make way for the head of the table. I think we can all agree we are seeing a once-in-a-lifetime competitor. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265. Roman Reigns! Three plus years at the top of WWE for this man. Nobody has been able to defeat the Tribal Chief. A reign of epic proportions. Dozens have tried. Dozens have failed. Think about this. Hall of Famers. Main eventers, crossover stars, none of them have been able to defeat Roman Reigns.
You can love him or you can hate him, but you must acknowledge him. A certified GOAT competing at his all-time best. Reigns is now an unstoppable force. The WWE Universe on its feet for HBK. From San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a reason that this man's nickname is Mr. WrestleMania, one of the greatest performers in the history of WWE. Well, this gentleman wanted to step foot on the island of relevancy. Well, here he is, and I promise it's going to take everything he has if he wants to make it off the island. And Roman Reigns is really taking things to a new level since he ascended to the mantle of the Tribal Chief. I believe on a number of occasions, he's even said that we work for him. His name isn't on my check, but I can't deny that Reigns has reached his full potential. He carries himself differently. He competes differently. He's definitely achieved a certain level of greatness. A very vindicated Reigns looking to be acknowledged here tonight. But you have to imagine HBK has done its homework and prepared for this matchup. Of course he has, Saxton. You don't have the career that the Shawn Michaels has without doing your research. And even going in blind, he's still as gifted as they come in the ring. Don't forget that. Just like that, Roman gets stopped. Oh, strong impact. Big forearm. Just knocked right out with that. Bam! Shawn Michaels doesn't back down from anyone. We know his desire to win is without equal, but Corey, can a competitor find a way to divert Michaels' focus? We know Michaels thinks he's cute and knows he's sexy, but can the heartbreak kid keep his emotions in check tonight? Can he leave his ego in the locker room? When you're overconfident, you can make mistakes. What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Foot just stomping down. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Michaels, and will this be it? He's able to kick out before two. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. What a cross body. And into the count. Two. No, he pops the shoulder before three. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Isolating the leg. Leg breaker. to think this match is starting to take its toll. Heading up, he's thinking big. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Gut buster. He deflects it right back. Was ready for that. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Targeting the neck. Big time neck breaker. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Don't come over here. Cole, quick, use Saxton as a human shield. Fine forearm smash from the heartbreak kid. And HBK is showing he's as dangerous now as he's ever been. The referee counting, urging them to get in the ring. Oh 
Sean feeling the sense of confidence here. Shawn Michaels did it. Here is your winner, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. And they were not able to beat the ref's count. This one ends in a count out. Not the win they wanted, but it's a win nonetheless. Here comes a truly vicious superstar. And Drew Gulak isn't here to play nice. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew. Drew Gulak ready to tie the competition up in knots. Drew Gulak is a walking compendium of wrestling knowledge. Well, that's how Gulak balances the scales against bigger opponents. Ready to outsmart and outfight anybody. The one-man wrecking crew has arrived. And his opponent from Sheriff's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman! Strowman stomping to the ring with a mission on his mind. Yeah, once Braun gets rolling, he plows straight ahead, full steam ahead. Witnessed some impressive feats of strength over the years. Well, the good news is the next one could be mere moments away. Drew Gulak is a true student of the ring. He studied the history of this business, studied all of the all-time greats, and he's convinced all that homework gives him a leg up on any opponent. It's not just all that studying that makes Gulak dangerous. It's how viciously he applies it. Believe me, Drew Gulak is as cunning as they come. You're not wrong about that. If Gulak has done his homework correctly, he could be hard to top in this match. And he's got to deal with the monster of all monsters, Braun Strowman. Just an absolutely unstoppable force in the ring. You can compare Strowman to a lot of objects, but you can't compare him to a mere human being. His stature and build are those of epic, mythic proportions, something you'd only read about in fairy tales. Ooh. Strong form, big blow could be felt throughout the arena. <laughs> Reversal from Gulak. Uh-oh, going for the ride! Choke slam! 
This could be it. Cover. Just gets the shoulder up. He really thought that was it. Oh, man, watch this. Freakish power. And Drew Gulak isn't being given any room to recover. Finding out exactly what it means to get these hands. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Ah, look at this. Golly, that could do permanent damage. Big forearm. Oh, what a nasty knee lift. Just a good old toss for the leg. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. If we've said it once, we've said it a hundred times before. When you're face to face with a big man, the best course of action is to do everything you can to chop down the tree trunk. Take out the base of the monster and you'll be one step closer to taking them down. Up to the top rope now. From the top. What? And after that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Pedal to the metal right now. Insulting. He's looking a little off balance. Dropping the knee for more punishment. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. Uh-oh. Oh, to the back of the neck. What a lariat. Cool that strategy paying dividends. And you have to hand it to him. He has chopped down the tree trunk that is Braun Strowman to great success. Drew Gulak. Jokerplex. A no-frills assault by Gulak. That's what a true master of his craft is capable of. These competitors do not like each other, point blank. They not just let the WWE Universe know that with their words, they let them in the whole locker room know with their actions. Speaking of the locker room, people are walking around on eggshells, trying not to throw gasoline onto this fire. It's too late for that, Saxton. Look at the arm for a Fujiwara arm bar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara arm. Strowman's being cut down in every corner. The monster among men is being in the cover for the win. Wait a second, where'd he come from? Oh! This superstar is laying waste to everybody. Only one man standing tall now. And what a scene. 